What up everyone, so I ordered a new S2000 front lip because mine didn't come with a front lip. And I got it off of eBay from uh, this seller named Icon Motorsports. And I bought it for $41 and I just got it today so I'm going to open it up and see how well it's packaged and how good the material is. Because you know the OEM ones can get pretty expensive and they crack easy so I wasn't going to spend four to $700 on an OEM one just to have it break. So I'm going to see how good this one is and install it and everything and see how hard that's going to be. But I'll show you guys the box. and Alright, so you can see here, Icon Motorsports. I know I've heard a lot of people that buy from eBay. Well, the front lips from eBay, they complain that uh, they usually bend them. And in order to put them in a smaller box so they don't have to pay that much for shipping. And this was free shipping too, so $41.00. And I get the big box that has the front lip not bent at all. Well, from what I can see right now, but we're going to see when we open the box if it's, you know, not taken care of. So I'll open it up. Alright, here it is. So they have the plastic wrapping around it. From the looks of it, you know, first glances, it seems good. But once we really start looking at it, we'll really start to find out. But one thing that I did forget to mention is that you know how a lot of people usually when they're buying a front lip, the biggest thing is uh, hardware. That's really what also made me want to buy it from this seller is because he had a lot of pictures of the lip, you know, to show detail and everything. And he also includes the hardware. But also the other thing is to see how well the hardware is because most of the time they'll just throw in random shit that they find and it doesn't even work. All right, so as you can see, we, we got the grooves right here. These little indents that go along the whole side of the front lip. And then <clears throat> we have the hardware. Let me open the bag. All right, so this is what we're dealing with. So I've never seen an original OEM front lip and what kind of hardware Honda uses to put that one on. <clears throat> but this is what you get with this one. But And then looking at the underneath of the actual uh, front bumper, you have those same grooves. So I don't know, from what it's looking like right now, it looks like a pretty easy process I do I do notice though that on mine they they do look broken <clears throat> so that sucks but yeah I'm gonna line it up <clears throat> and start one side and see if I can get that and then let you know let you guys know how that goes the divots that they had or the seller produced onto the lip don't even line up with any of the holes on the bottom of the front bumper so that doesn't do me any good but I did notice that by the wheel well so the side of the front bumper right next to the wheel well there's two holes there that are supposed to hold the front bumper to I think the wheel well trim so I'm going to use those holes to hold up the lip for support on both sides of the front bumper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 3M tape to uh, stick on the entire other side of the lip. So the front, the whole front of it and just see how that looks. But yeah, it'll be some basically just making up your own shit to fit this on there. All right, so I'm going to show you the holes. So there's the two holes that I'm going to attempt to use to hold up the side of the lip. So basically just drill through here and use those holes. And the same goes for the other side. So at least I won't have to actually do any drilling on my front bumper. Just basically using existing holes and then gonna be using the 
3M double sided tape to hold the rest of the front of the lip up against the bumper and just pretty much just do a hack job you know nothing professional I think I'm just gonna keep this lip uh, the, I'm not gonna paint the lip I'm just gonna keep it as it is alright so after a fucking shit ton of work we got them on just had to make some custom mounts for it basically on the underside but then we used the original holes that are up by the wheel well my nephew Kelsey helped me fucking hold the other side up. This is like a two person job, but I'll show you guys how it fits. So from the front, it actually looks pretty decent. But once we get to the sides, because it was stretched out, I'm still going to try and see if I can get this top one to line up and drill it. I mean, this is one of the screws so far. I'm still going to do another one either down here or up here because of this that's really bothering and it's the same on the other side not as bad but still pretty bad so I know that you can order splitters for these that line up with the original front lip but if I do get one I don't know how it's gonna mount on the bottom of this lip so I also made two holes one right there and one over there basically to hold up the middle more so it's being held up a little more it was hanging down a little lower but now it's flush and straight besides those two corners so it's not too bad for $41 but that's pretty much how most eBay lips are gonna be so I guess you are better off going with the original but then again they will crack so for this eBay lip I am gonna recommend it because it actually does line up pretty well from the front just only on the wheel well sides is where it just has a tiny bit of uh, bad fitment but other than that, it looks really good, and uh, it does what you want it to do, and it's a lot better than paying four to seven hundred dollars. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.